Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show. I'm your host, Definition, aka Devinition, and I'm Dev as stated that I've opened the video with one of the worst puns ever. Anyway, if you're here, chances are you've been watching Devs on FX. It's an absolutely outstanding show that has several mysteries surrounding it, namely, what is it that the devs do? In order to explain that, we have to explain the machine itself, how it operates, and why it cements several things about the universe. Throughout this video, we'll be discussing everything you need to know about the computer and if it's accurate or not. There will be heavy spoilers here, so if you haven't watched up to episode 7 yet, then I highly recommend that you turn off now. The universe has already decided whether you will watch this video or not. It does not matter. Everything will happen the way that it's supposed to. You will also subscribe if you are... Okay, I'll not push it. Anyway, please drop a like if you enjoy the video. Now let's get into our breakdown of devs. Okay, so Dev centers around a tech company called Amaya. The company is named after the daughter of the CEO, who tragically died years prior, and the machine in Dev's is as much about bringing him closure as it is of bringing him agony over what could have been. We'll get into this more later, but the CEO Forrest and his company have made leaps and bounds in terms of software and programming. This has caught the attention of several agencies and governments, namely Russia, who sent in a spy named Sergei to run reconnaissance on the mysterious devs department that exists within the company. Sergei works his way up, is brought in, and sees firsthand what goes on there, and he tries to smuggle out the information, but is captured and killed. Amaya cover up his death, and Sergei's girlfriend Lily tries to uncover exactly what's going on, which leads her to the machine. That's a basic plot overview, but there's a lot more going on, as well as an absolutely incredible soundtrack. Anyway, in order to understand the MacGuffin that is the machine, we have to understand how the universe itself works. At the dawn of time, there was the Big Bang, which sent atoms across the universe. Eventually, they formed planets and created life as we know it. Humans came into existence, and then they lived lives, had children, who went on to have children, and civilization was created. Everything from the Big Bang all the way until this very moment has followed a pathway, a chain of events that have led us to the here and now. Even you, yes you, sitting there watching this video at this very moment, you are here because everything in your life that has happened so far has led you to this moment. In fact, scratch that. Everything in not only your life, but your parents' lives, your grandparents, their parents, and everyone in your family tree dating back to the second that your ancestors stepped out of the ocean, that has all led you here. So, so yeah, this, this video better be good, I guess. Now, what the machine at Devs has done is that it's taken every single thing on the planet and traced it back in time, accurately recreating events from human history. It has then mapped them out into a complex algorithm, and using this data, it's plotted out what will happen in the future. It's extremely complicated, but they do a brilliant job of explaining it in the show with the use of a pen. When you roll a pen on a table, it almost seems random whereabouts it will stop. However, if you were to take the speed that the pen was rolled, the direction it was sent into, the weight of it, and all of the variables that make it this specific pen, you would not only be able to see how far forward it would roll, but you would also be able to trace it back to its point of origin. Therefore, if you had this information, you could predict both its past movements and its future. Devs basically says that there are no random events, absolutely none. Everything on Earth is the way that it is because of cause and effect. Even a coin flip can be predicted if you know the weight of the coin, the speed in which it was flipped, the surface it will land on, and more. Basically, that is what the machine does. It takes all of the information for everything on the planet, and then it uses this to portray exactly how things have been and how they will be. At one point when Sergei looks over the code, he states that if this is true, then it changes everything. However, this is quickly rebuffed by Katie who says, no, if it's true, then it changes absolutely nothing. Everything is on a preordained path because of what has happened in the past, and there is no way to really divert from it, as the past is what has brought it to this point. Forrest calls it causal determinism, which states that, as everything is based upon natural laws that are determined by definitive causes, that nothing is uncaused, and therefore everything has an effect. If all causes are known, then we can follow the after effects back to where they were caused, and then use this information to plot out a trajectory of where things would continue to go. I think the best analogy I can think of is, if you imagine a book, 
You can flick through the pages and read the last one and work through it backwards and the story will always be the same because the events that kickstarted it led to a certain path being fulfilled. Everything from your past until now has happened because of the domino effect in which certain aspects all correctly fell into place for you to be where you are now. Now we could take your medical history, your job, where you live, your diet, who you socialize with and everything about you and probably get a fairly accurate prediction of how and when you will die. It's like those old guess your death apps, but far more sophisticated. And though things like that can be worrying for some people, I think for the devs, it's very much a safety blanket that reminds them that everything will happen the way that it's supposed to. So that's a basic overview of how the machine works. And as I'm sure you can guess, owning such a thing would be extremely valuable. Now, before we get into the rest of the video, which discusses the multiverse aspect of everything, I just want to let you know we're giving away a free copy of the Star Wars Skywalker Saga box set to one random subscriber. All you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave your thoughts on devs in the comments section below. The winner is going to be chosen at random on the 15th of April and the set will be shipped out from then to whoever gets the prize, so best of luck to everyone who takes part. Okay, so when we first see the machine displaying events from the past, they are extremely hazy and difficult to make out. This is because the machine has to take into account a number of different variables that it cannot know for certain. For example, say when trying to trace back your grandparents, it got the hair colour of one wrong, i.e. it thought your grandfather was a ginger. It would then think that there would have to be other red-headed people in your family to cause your grandfather to be ginger, so there would be mistakes which would grow exponentially the further back you went. Instead of getting these completely wrong, the machine accounts for these and therefore it does not create a crystal clear image. So we cannot look back into the past exactly, as it is unlikely that it got absolutely everything right, so instead it just leaves the variables in. Now in the show, Linden actually clears all these variables and it creates a perfect image as well as clear audio. This is used with an example of Jesus on the cross and though everyone in the department is flabbergasted, Forrest is angered by it. In clearing the variables, one is presenting a version of the universe in which a grandfather was ginger and they traced it back as if it was a fact and therefore everything happened the way that it's displayed. This may have been the case, but it may also not have been the case and therefore it is not a true depiction of the past, rather a possible past. I'll use an example on screen right now. At the moment, this looks like a mess because it's impossible to tell what color the smiley face really is. This is how the machine generates the past and future. However, if I tell it for definite that the face was purple in the past, then everything is okay and it completely clears up. However, the machine has no one telling it definites and therefore it creates a problem. That is the multiverse. Forrest does not really believe in it because if he did, then he may have to accept that his daughter exists out there and he's still not with her. I don't know if that's a completely accurate character study of Forrest, but he does begin to torture himself with the notion of what if. Linden argues with him and is expelled because of it and the series really grapples with whether there's one universe or a multitude of them. Linden even puts his life on the line in episode 7 to prove the multiverse exists in a way, and though he dies in this one universe that we see, we also see several other versions exist alongside him. This gives the idea of quantum immortality, which is a similar experiment to Schrodinger's cat. It states that if you put your life on the line in an experiment like the one we see Linden attempt, there will be two outcomes, either you will live or die. If you live, the experiment can be repeated again and again with it causing multiple universes to branch off from that very moment in which you died. Since consciousness ceases upon death, you won't remember the universes that you die in and instead you will follow through the universes in which you live, making you immortal during the experiment. You do get this notion with the death of the character and it could also hint at how the show will be going forward for the finale. We do know that Lily's death has been predicted, however it could be possible that she will exist within a reality in which she does not die. I don't think that the show will do that, more I think that the machine will end with her destroying it and this will be why it's unable to predict past a certain point. There are a ton of avenues that devs can take overall and it's a fascinating series that I've really enjoyed talking about in this video. In answer to the question of what is it that the devs do, the answer is nothing. They just let things happen the way that they should and in doing so Lily is a direct front to them. Here is someone who like Linden wants to prove that free will is possible and this breaks everything that the devs stand for, thus showing that humanity is not on the train tracks that the machine states we are.
Now obviously I'd love to hear your thoughts on devs so comment below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and make sure you stay locked to the channel for our breakdown of the finale right after it airs. We've also been covering Westworld week by week so if you haven't had a chance to check those videos out yet then make sure you watch them after this. If you want to support the channel from as little as 99 cents a month then please click the join button below. We massively appreciate it and as a thank you you get access to content early. If you want to come chat to us after the show either follow us at DefinitionYT or click the discord link in the description below. Those are the best ways to keep up to date with heavy spoilers, so hopefully we see you over there very soon. This is a channel for people who are never missing television, so if that's the kind of thing you like, you need to subscribe to Definition. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this, you've been the best and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.